Or I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. see, see. It, it looks something like this. Rohan here and today we're actually going to look at a product we've actually reviewed before on this channel. So if you stayed with Techno Review long enough, you've probably seen me upload a video on a keyboard and mouse combo from Costco and it's called the Logitech MK825. So I realized in my previous video I haven't actually done an in-depth review. I kind of just skimmed the surface, shown the product, gave the specs, but I haven't actually like talked about my thoughts or how to connect it. And I actually got a ton of questions asking on the comment like how to connect this to a uh, computer because it was pretty confusing. The manual isn't coherent at all. You don't understand how to connect it. So I'm here to help you with that. So in this video, I'm actually gonna do an unboxing and then I'm gonna show you how to connect it to your computer. And then finally, I'm gonna give my thoughts and my final opinions about the product. So let's begin the video and welcome Techno review. Okay, so now let's start the unboxing. So if you did buy this combo from Costco, it would cost you $55 and on Amazon you can actually get it used for about $45. Okay, so here is the box. It looks very nice, very well packaged. It has a very nice design. And as you can see, it says that it's a performance keyboard. So now let's open it up and here is the dongle. This is what you use to connect uh, the keyboard and mouse to your computer. Next, here is an extra cable. This is USB to a USB port. Next, let's take out the mouse itself. And this mouse is an M585 mouse. So if you were to buy it separately, this, was, this would be the model of the mouse. And this mouse feels pretty heavy, actually. It feel, there's a decent heft to it, um, but it's completely made out of plastic. And there are two thumb buttons on the side. There is a scroll wheel and obviously the right and left clicker. And then in the middle, there is a button and obviously you can see one and two. This is where you switch which device you're using and also talk more about that in the how to connect. Next, let's take out the keyboard itself. Uh, this is also a K850 keyboard. So if you were to buy it separately, this is what the model number would be. It's pretty heavy but obviously you're not gonna carry it around everywhere. It's just gonna be in one place. Uh, so there is this cushioning part where you can rest your wrists. And also the keys are soft typing, which means there it makes almost no sound, which is pretty nice. I actually prefer those types of keyboard. I know a lot of people uh, prefer mechanical keyboards with a nice uh, clicking sound, but I prefer a quieter keyboard. There is an ergonomic curve on the keyboard. Uh, there is a slight curve which makes you type more efficiently. So this keyboard has elevation stands and uh, this increases the incline of the keyboard and it has two different heights. There are custom keys on the keyboard, uh, like when you can see command, there is also alt and there is also alt option where there is start. So it is compatible with both Windows and Apple and you know wh which one's which. And also on this keyboard, you see three buttons, white buttons on the top, and it says one, two, three. And this is where you can switch between which monitor or computer you're using. You can actually start typing on your computer, click a button and start typing on your Android phone. And this is very efficient. You can actually switch really fast. It does, there's no lag time at all, which is really cool. Fortunately, this keyboard isn't backlit and that's downside for me because I prefer keyboards that are backlit. So, and also if your computer or phone does not have Bluetooth, you can still use a dongle. You will have to connect it. If you're using with the phone, you have to have a separate uh, connector or adapter where you plug a USB. But for your computer, you will need a computer with uh, a USB port and this keyboard has 104 keys. So you also get batteries with the keyboard and mouse. You get one AA battery for the mouse and two AAA batteries for the keyboard. So this keyboard and mouse are compatible with many different OS's like Mac OS, Windows, and it's also compatible with Android phones. Uh, I'm not sure where iPhone phones, but it's definitely compatible with Android. Next, let's talk about how to connect this keyboard and mouse to your computer. So step one, you can either, if you're just using one computer, just put in a dongle and follow the steps on the computer. It'll tell you to click the button to the right of the shift and the left of the shift button, and it will automatically connect to your computer. But if you wanna do Logitech Flow, where you can start typing on one computer and then click a button, and then it connects to 
a separate computer. Uh, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. So let's start. So the first thing you have to do is download Logitech Flow on the two computers you're gonna use or three computers you're gonna use and follow the steps, download it and sign into an account. And remember, only use the same account for each computer. The second step is to first go onto one computer and put in the dongle and connect your keyboard and mouse to that computer. So on Logitech Flow, you have to click add device and then put in your dongle and connect the keyboard and mouse. It will tell you the steps to connect it and you do that. After that, what I did is that I went onto my next computer and used Logitech Flow there and added a device and then I turned on Bluetooth. And then I connected my computer to the keyboard and mouse via Bluetooth. You can connect it to your other computer with a dongle too, but I just found it easier for me that I just connected with Bluetooth. And then it finally worked. I can easily start typing on one computer and then switch and then start typing on the other. I hope you found that very helpful. If you do have more questions or if I've sounded a bit confusing, you can ask me more questions and I can specify it in the chat. Okay, so now let's move on to the final thoughts about this product. So I think it'd be great to start with the keyboard. So the keyboard is pretty nice. I really like it. The ergonomic design really helps my wrist and I type really nicely. I really enjoy it. And I did play some games with it and it was pretty nice. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the ergonomic finish definitely helps and that's a very big plus for me. So the next thing I would like to talk about is the quiet keys. I really like that. That is really amazing. I really prefer quiet keys. It's very soft and there aren't actually any downsides for this keyboard. I actually enjoyed it. Okay, so next let's talk about the mouse. Not gonna lie, it's pretty heavy. It feels a bit too heavy when you're trying to move around or if you're playing video games, this is way too heavy. And also since it's wireless, there is gonna be some lag, um, but it's pretty nice. I really like the feature where you can switch devices with this um, and the thumb buttons are good. It's just that it's pretty heavy. It's just heavy in general. So that's the only downside about this. It does, the plastic finish does feel weird and that's like the only downside. The scroll wheel is perfect. Everything's awesome. That is basically it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review and you found this helpful. And I hope you enjoy the MK825 if you buy it. And thank you guys for watching. And if you have any comments or any questions, please comment below and subscribe to my channel to watch my future videos. And thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.